Hi everyone, welcome back to Writing Light. Sorry to be gone for a while, but you know how that goes. Today I thought we'd start a new series on characters and character development. Now, I know there are a lot of books and articles written on how to do it, so I'm just going to tell you some of the tips that I've learned that have helped me the most. And my favorite, the most important thing I've learned, is to write a backstory for my characters. Um, once I've conceived of maybe the three or four major characters in an upcoming novel, I sit down and I kind of let myself do stream of consciousness. Who they are, what their background is like, what kind of education they had, what kind of family life did they have, what kind of personality, how did they react to events, um, what kind of upbringing they had, what kind of schooling, everything. I just kind of let it go out on the page. Um, and usually, you know, I may falter for the first couple of paragraphs or something, but then I kind of get into something. And I really start thinking about who they are and what kind of people they are. I even maybe dream up and write down a couple of incidents from their childhood or from their young adult years that they felt were pretty important to their character develop to their own development. Now here's the thing. You're probably not going to use more than two to five percent of what you've written in your backstory in the book itself, but it gives you such a knowledge of your character that it, it really helps you determine how they're going to react and what they're going to do to initiate things as you're going through the story. And there's another really important benefit too. It can actually help you determine plot points. I'm going to give you a quick example. I needed to come up with the mother of uh, Lauren Walcher in Easy Innocence. Easy Innocence is, by the way, a um, mystery that talks about high school prostitution. And the ringleader is Lauren Walcher, but she's from a very affluent neighborhood on the North Shore of Chicago. But what kind of a mother would she have that would make Lauren think it's okay to do this? Well, I really dug deep into Andrea Walcher. That's the mother's background. And I found out that she came from a lace curtain Irish neighborhood on Chicago's South Side. And the, she had an abusive father and she wanted to get out of the house as quickly as possible. And she got herself a paralegal education, became a paralegal with the purpose of snagging a young partner to marry, which of course she did and moved to the North Shore. And so I had Andrea's character written down, uh, written down in the backstory, and I also had her in my head, and it made the plot really a piece of cake, because I knew exactly what she was going to do and when, why she was going to do it. Anyway, so those are backstories. I really recommend them, and we'll be back again next time and talk more about characters. So long.